Okay, folks. This is it. It's the moment of truth. Let's see. Hello there, friends. I hope that you're doing well on this Thursday, July 11th, 2019. Who knows? Time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? Um, so yes, I have officially did it, did it, it um, <clears throat> cross below the 220 barrier to 217.8. 217.8 pounds. I think this is the lightest that I've been in a very, very long time. I started the year off at like 255 or something like that. So how about that? Um, that's like a very heavy weighted vest that I'm no longer carrying around. That's weighing me down. That's putting just wear and tear on my body, my back, my back, my neck. Um, and they're about to start mowing grass as I hit record. That's all right. Um, but uh, that's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, it's amazing what uh, what happens when you actually like vaguely stick to something and just try to progress and move forward even if it's not always perfect or this or that right um you'll have to excuse me of some sort of sweaty or oh, sweaty um yeah went and did a uh little morning workout and it's already getting hot out it is a scorcher today folks um, did some pull-ups, and yes, I did actual pull-ups today. Um, I'm now light enough where I can start doing actual unassisted pull-ups. A little bit, not too much, but starting to build up that strength, finishing off with some negatives, some rows. Uh, I found a way to do bicep curls of, like, using, like, a lower bar and, like, holding like this, almost like sitting back, and then, like, curling my body up to my uh, hands and then finishing up with some more higher rep rows with my knees bent so they're easier get in some extra back work so yes I know v very low tech and whatever I know that I had a number of people tell me that I should do power lifting that'll make results much faster than what I'm doing and uh, I believe it Believe me, I definitely believe it. And I was actually very heavily thinking about it and even started to look up online for like powerlifting coaches. But I just decided that, you know, with the problems that I've had with my back, I don't know. I don't know if I'm willing to take that chance. I don't, I don't know if I want to tickle the dragon's tail, so to speak. I can definitely see it of like making some very quick results, especially, you know, if you are doing like huge movements like squats and deadlifting and stuff like that. But I just don't know if I want to take the risk of even with a coach and all that, like you never know what's going to happen. And that's that's not a for me personally that's not a thing that I'm 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 willing to take with that. So I I'm perfectly okay with my janky low tech calisthenics stuff. So that's fine cuz I enjoy it and you know what can I say? My personality is I like taking like weird janky stuff, running with it and trying to make it work. I, I don't know. It's like the most fun I ever had with streaming was back when I had Linux Mint on my old computer and just found a way to make stuff work. Running emulators, stuff like that. So, you know, I, I found my old gymnastics rings that I bought like 9, 10 years ago. And started using them a little bit and all that. And then, I don't know what it was, I was like, you know, I'm just going to take it on as a personal challenge to not even do that. 
Just use what's available and find ways to make it work. You know, dip stands, pull up bars, uh, things like that. Going for walks. Oh, I don't know why I keep. Oh, why I keep doing that? Uh, just, just going for walks, things like that. Just something about making do with what you have, making the best of it, finding a way to succeed with it, and getting like the most you can out of it really appeals to me. So I'm just going to continue on with that. Believe me, I hear the people who, like I said, if, if I follow a more traditional thing, that'll probably make faster and better progress, whatever better necessarily is. But um, this is something that I enjoy and I know I can stick with, so I will just continue on with it. And uh, let's see. Um, I know that uh, some some people had... So I've been kind of on a little bit of a buckwheat cleanse for uh, about four days now. I'll probably go a few more days. Um, I've been on, I mean, <clears throat> didn't eat the best food out on the trip because it just wasn't really available. So you buy a bunch of prepackaged stuff. About the only thing that was fresh was some vegetables we brought and when we uh, made uh, kebabs. And, uh, but everything else was like, you know, packaged, frozen, or something like that. So, didn't eat the best stuff, and just wanted to clean out my system a little bit. So, just made a bunch of buckwheat, put a little salt in there, have a little bit of vegetables with it. So, once that's done, um, I want to try something different. And, uh... But not be a stickler about it, too, where, like, if you go out somewhere with friends, it's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to eat that steak or chicken or whatever, because... But just, you know, I know there's a number of people who want me to become a vegan or try that out, and... I don't know if I'm necessarily wanting to go down uh, that route, but I was really thinking of something like a pescatarian thing but uh you know i will just try stuff out and let you know um, i love fish i think rainbow trout is about my favorite i think it's supposed to be lower in mercury but uh just got to find out can you actually like purchase this easily what's the cost etc so I, I want to look into that so that was sort of on my mind um and so yeah you know i think give it some time you know don't don't i think that you know especially like you know i'm not putting any time frames or timelines or anything but you know i think by the end of the year, if I keep sticking with it, making progress, despite how absurd some of the exercises might look, and like, why aren't you lifting weights? I think, uh, I think I might be able to make some pretty good progress that might surprise people who would, you know, poo-poo some of the calisthenics stuff. So, uh, do I have a goal weight? I don't know yet, but definitely 200 and below. I think in the past before I said like 180. And I'm not sure yet that might be too low for my height and frame. But uh, definitely 200, maybe just a little below. Maybe 190, 195, something like that, but... I'm not going to attach a number to it. Um, I'm just going to continue to eat right, stay away from junk, do exercise that I enjoy, and enjoy the process. I'm not doing this for anybody else. And pe people, people say that, but generally don't mean it. But at this point, I, I legitimately mean it. Th this, this is no more of a, 
oh, I want to get like a certain look so I can attract women or, you know, what do women go for and what a blah, blah. This is just purely, I'm getting older, folks. I've had a history of back problems, you know, have higher blood pressure, etc. Got to take care of my health. Can't continue being overweight, slow, weak, easily get out of breath, things like that. So, um, and you know, with my history of like depression and stuff like that, just use whatever natural means are available to, uh, prove your mental health and all of that stuff. All right. It is getting hot in this car. Got to head on back home. See you folks later. Bye-bye.